Let's do the postpartum bathroom stuff. Third time mum. It almost looks fake. Like it's like a round ball. Start by saying that actually the only thing you must have is a pad. The rest of this stuff is just to have. To, it's, that's, it's nice. But if you're on a budget, just get pads. When you're first postpartum, you're going to want to wear... A lot of people like the always discreet. Depends. But for me, guys, in my experience, always gives a rash. Okay, there's some chemical they put in their pads that are just not... It's not for postpartum. It's not for wearing 24-7 for four to six weeks. If you can, try and avoid always. I like the Freedom Mum boy shorts and then I put a pad inside here. These do not have pads in them, but it does also mean that you can wear these and change the pad rather than wearing the adult diapers and then you have to keep changing them, which ends up costing more. Obviously, if you get blood on these, you throw them away. I also take these to the hospital because I find that they are more secure than the ones that the hospital give you, which are mesh. I like to use the real pads. Rail? It's like real, but they've spelt it wrong. Anyway, these are the overnights, but you can see this is just cotton. It's just a cotton mesh. Whereas always is a chemical and it's like blue and there's just all sorts going on. So these are the first pads that I start off with. I'll sort of show you how I make a pad at the beginning. I then use tux pads. I have hemorrhoids. Um, hemorrhoids don't go away unless you get them professionally removed. So this is my third baby. I've had them for four years now. They just sort of go like dormant, um, but with a lot of pushing and your baby going down, they do tend to inflame after pregnancy, so, um, after birth. Really? Oh my God, that smell gives me, that's like PTSD, that smell. I can't decide if I like it or hate it. Okay, they're literally these little pads and you're just gonna put them on where your bottom area is. I have some Dermaplast. I actually didn't use this with my second because my postpartum recovery actually wasn't that bad but I did use it with my first. This pretty much just like numbs you um, and you can either spray it directly onto your pad, which I think is better, or directly onto you, which I found a little bit jarring, was like too cold. I bought a postpartum. This is from Lanaso. It actually came with some great things. Um, so this is quite a good purchase. I put the Perry bottle from that upstairs because it's going in my hospital bag. Uh, but this is the same sort of thing. This is the Freedom on one. Um, they do give you one in the hospital, but it doesn't have the bit where you it bends. So again, this is a luxury because they will give you one in the hospital. It's just one. It's just easier with this because you can stick it down and push and the water will come up. Whereas the one they give you in the hospital, it just squirts directly outwards. So it's not necessary. I always keep a nipple cream in my bathroom because if you know you know they're very sore afterwards and also guys this is a really good lip balm i've actually got some on because i woke up last night and i've obviously was breathing out of my mouth and i woke up like i was in the sahara desert if you don't need it for your nips use it for your lips i've never used this before but this came in the lanaso postpartum kit so i'm gonna give it a try it's the herbal postpartum spray lanaso sell um these and these actually came in the pack, I bought these separately last time and it was cheaper to buy everything in that pack than to buy individually. These are ice packs. Again, you don't need these guys, but it is just nice to have. You can either put them in the microwave and warm them up a bit, or you can put them in the freezer. And essentially what you do is they come with these little covers for them. And you're just gonna put that in your underwear. This is really only for, I would say, the first like week or so. The ice is really nice on your bits don't want them too cold though so i put, put them in the freezer and then i take them out and let them thaw a little bit actually sorry i've got some regular pads ready to go because you just don't know when you're going to go down so you sort of go down in sizes of pads and eventually you'll be in panty liners with my daughter i was in pads for about eight weeks with my son it was like three weeks so it just depends but that's it i've still not packed my hospital bag but we'll get there.